Hi, in the parking lot of my uh, strength training place. Anyway, I'm um, getting ready to run in. I need to go in in just a couple minutes, but I missed all last week. I go twice a week and I miss both times. One of them, I was in North Carolina visiting my daughter and another time I uh, had a doctor's appointment that just I could not reschedule, so I had to go then. So anyway, that's why I missed a week, but I'm ready to hop back into it. But I've got lots and lots of things to just kind of share with you, just tons of stuff. So stay with me. Let me go quickly do that. I'll be right back and let's chat about stuff. I just finished that. It was hard, let me tell you. The good news is that whenever I come here, I always save my anything I need to take to the UPS store to come during this time. Plus, right outside is a library book return box so I can return library books and go to the UPS store real quick either before or after I do my strength training so I love it when things are real close like that um so now I need to run to Walgreens and pick up a couple prescriptions and then um the post office oh also at Walgreens I have to drop off a box to FedEx because they do that then I got to keep my eye on the clock because at one o'clock so in a little over an hour I have a doctor's appointment I need to go to because my B12 shot thing is a problem again. Um, you know how I had the uh, armpit issue <laughs> when I was taking the B12 pills? So that's why we went to shots because it bypasses your stomach and your intestines and goes straight to the blood or whatever. Um, so I had to do shots and it was everything was fine. It was great until I got too much B12. So then I stopped for a while, got tested. I dumped really low again, started the shots again. So anyway, but everything was fine with shots, no armpit problems. Um, and of course the guy's parking directly in front of me right now, staring right at me, talking to myself. Anyway, um, getting used to it after all these years, but so I all of a sudden noticed about a week and a half to two weeks ago that my armpits are doing that thing again. It's they're kind of sore and kind of on the on the outside edge of where you'd put your deodorant, you know, basically is where it's, it's a little it's darkening. I mean, it's it's mild. It's very slight, but I can see it. And that's not the biggest problem. The problem is that it hurts. It's sore. And so I know that that's it's just starting up again, that problem. So my appointment is to go. I was supposed to get another shot last Friday. I canceled the shot until we retested and I retested to see where my levels were thinking that maybe it was too high. But it's not. My levels are kind of in the perfect spot right now. So I do need to continue taking the shots to keep myself in the perfect B12. However, I think they might be causing this problem. So that's what I have to go see about at one o'clock. And then whatever I can't get done of my running around, around between now and then, I'll do again after the doctor's appointment. So anyway, that's that. Let's go run to Walgreens. And this man in front of me is just sitting there. He's an older guy. And he's just sitting there just watching me talk to myself. Okay. If you happened to look at my Instagram this morning, I my other dashboard camera thing uh, holder uh, broke. And so I was asking my husband, do you know what happened to my other ones? I had several. And he immediately answered this. So this was the text I got this morning back from my husband. Now keep in mind, he was just downstairs, but I didn't really want to yell. So I was texting him. Do you do that? Do you text your loved ones in the house, They're like in the house with you or in the room next, you know, right next to you, but you still text them rather than yell? I do that. So anyway, yeah. He immediately, and I mean it was immediate, he immediately texted back that, yeah, he knew exactly where they were. They were in his underwear drawer. So I'm like, what? Why on earth would my um, dashboard camera holder things be in your underwear drawer? I didn't ask. I just had to sit there and ponder about it for a minute, thinking, number one, he knew right where they were, and number two, they were in his underwear drawer, and he just, matter of fact, states that to me, like... I wasn't gonna question it, no explanation. <laughs> so, and then I got busy, I was in my office. I got busy doing other things I never did ask him until a little bit later he popped up there to say hi and check in with me. And I just said, so really, is that really where they are? Um, or did you just like make that up? He said, nope, that's exactly where they are. And I said, why? And he told me because he was he was replacing the windows, like the window panes and the things around the windows. 
in our master closet thing. It's got, we've got floor ceiling windows in there. It's like almost like a bay window that doesn't pop out, you know, that kind of a window. Um, yeah. And we, we always have blinds on it, obviously, because, you know, it's a closet. Uh, we change in there and stuff. But he was working on the windows and he was using the suction cups from my, uh, you know, the things, the suction cup to my window in my car. He was using the suction cups to hold onto the glass to move the glass in and out. So at least he has a really good reason for, ha <laughs> for having that in his underwear drawer because you turn, there's like an island in the closet. The closet is room sized and we have an island in the middle and um his drawer is right there you know opposite the window so that's why yeah interesting huh <laughs> oh my goodness the things we do that cracked me up all right walgreens i need to go inside because i have to drop the box off to fedex which is very, very handy. Otherwise, I used to have to drive all the way to the next town over to the nearest FedEx store to FedEx things back to places. So I'm gonna run in, FedEx that, pick up some prescriptions, and I'll be right back. So did that. Um, everything worked out well, and I drove to the post office. This is just riveting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm at the post office, and it just reminded me for some strange reason that I needed to um, tell you something by the way this is the bag of the day um okay you all know if you've been with me any length of time uh that I have had a white pumpkin in my kitchen sitting there by the extra sink area forever I got this pumpkin just at some grocery store or something I don't even remember exactly where but it wasn't anything spectacular it was just something simple like a bin at a grocery store um in September of 2019 I have photos of it sitting there um, anytime you've seen anything with me doing something in my kitchen, like a grocery haul or whatever, it's been there. It has lasted forever and ever, and I have no idea why. So I've talked about this white pumpkin a lot. Anyway, the other day I noticed, well, no, about a month ago, I noticed that it was starting to look a little yellow because it was a white pumpkin and it was turning kind of yellowish. I'm like, and it still felt normal. And I'm like, oh, all right, well, something's up with it. Right. And then totally forgot about it because I'm used to it just being a fixture in my kitchen and I noticed that it was like sitting kind of sideways. I was getting ready to go to my dad to just get in the car and, and drive to my dad early one morning. And I saw it kind of sitting kind of crooked. I'm like, uh, it was listing. So I picked it up and sure enough, it started to rot on the one little bottom part and it was gross. So um, I had to quickly get rid of it. I was leaving. I didn't want to just have to leave this rotten pumpkin in my kitchen. So anyway, I quickly cut it open because I knew that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to cut it open and see what the heck was it dried out inside? Where, you know, were there seeds? What's, what's the deal was this really a real pumpkin you know that kind of thing so anyway I cut it open and this is what I saw it was a real pumpkin it I mean I knew it was because I bought it in a bin but I'm like well, how is this possible so anyway there it is my pumpkin is no longer with us it lasted through three 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 Christmases 2019 2020 and 2021 yeah the thing has been like a fixture in our family. I've decorated for it for every um, holiday for three years, but the, the sweet pumpkin has has left us. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought that, that was hilarious. So I don't know what's going on with that guy, but he was a strong survivor. <laughs> so of course, um, I have like 35 minutes before my doctor's appointment, which it's about, you know, not too long home, but by the time I would get home, I'd basically just have to turn around and come back or, you know, head out again, so it's kind of stupid. So I guess I will just head to the parking lot of my doctor's office and then tell you the story of my garnet ring that I had uh, made that to represent or whatever, to look like my mom's garnet ring. If you know that story, I'll tell you the end of that and how it worked out and so forth. So. Let's drive there first and then I'll chat with you because too many people come here that n might know me because it's a tiny little town and yeah.
okay, I'm here. <laughs> I have some time to waste, so let's chat. All right, um, if you saw my video about me trying to replicate a garnet ring that my mother wore through most of my childhood, um, but then she no longer had it for the last like 20 years or so. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's something that I always remembered. I think of her with it and I always wish that I had that ring from her. And if you don't know, my mother passed away December 10th, so it has been almost four months. And anyway, it's a whole long story, but I have I have a video I plan to, um, to put up to talk about just how things are going with that. But anyway, um, I was trying to replicate her ring. So I was searching and searching for the right setting. It's an old fashioned setting and it wasn't something that um, I could find readily or easily. So I was just searching and searching. I went to a jeweler um, in town that uh, is highly, highly recommended. So I thought I'll give them a try. I'd not been before. I've seen it a million times as I, you know, driven past it, but I'd never been. So I went to the jeweler and they were so, so helpful and absolutely amazing. I highly recommend them. Not sponsored. Nothing I do is sponsored, guys, unless I tell you. So yeah, just always assume nothing is sponsored. They don't know me from Adam, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went in and um, it's State Street Jewelers in Geneva, Illinois, in case you're interested. Uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ask for Amy. She's amazing. She helped me so much. She plopped down this gigantic book of settings. She knew exactly what I was looking for. She flopped right to the page and, you know, was saying like, like this. I'm like, yes, except for, you know, and so we were trying to find existing settings um, that we could possibly use to put this band with that, you know, setting thing and then this and find the own, you know, a specific gemstone and then put it all together or if we couldn't find what we wanted in that way we would just have to design it from scratch so anyway that's the whole thing well the biggest search really seemed to be the uh, garnet itself um, we determined that I needed something around the 8 to 10 millimeter range it needed to be a square uh, like a princess cut or a step cut either one but you know in a square type of a look and um, I really needed it to be very, very dark. It needed to be a dark garnet with just, you know, that like just flashes of red, um, more of like a burgundy wine color in there. Nothing too pinky, nothing too orange at all. Um, it just needed to be that deep, dark burgundy wine color because that's, that's the color that I just fell in love with with my mom's ring. And I wanted it to look as much like hers as possible. So put all that together and the, the ring had to be uh, yellow gold and had to be like a, a beefier presence of a ring. Like, you know, and it had to have the right kind of prongs and everything. So anyway, we were searching and searching. So she was um, in contact with several different people who uh, they could get gemstones from. And they searched through all the things that they had and so forth. Um, and she found a man um, who does a lot of major gemstone things in New York City. He has a place on Fifth Avenue and she asked him if he had anything. Well, he did have a couple roughs that he was planning to cut eventually for something and he thought, well, one would be perfect for it. So he decided to go ahead and cut that stone. In doing so, for whatever reason, one of the corners got lopped off just a little bit of the square. So then he you know, kind of lopped off all four of the corners. So then I'm like, oh no, you know, that would have possibly been perfect because the color was perfect, et cetera. And she sent me a picture. He sent her a picture and she sent me the picture of what it was like. And I'm thinking it's gorgeous. It was the perfect color, the perfect size, everything. But I don't know about because hers was, my mom's was square. So anyway, um, we just said we found the setting bits and pieces to put together to, to make it all work. And she said, you know what, let's just go ahead. I'll, you know, we'll keep looking, we'll keep trying to find things, but let's go ahead and put this in the setting and then you can take a look at it and see what you think. And then we can go changing from there if you need to. I'm like, okay, fine. If you know, if you're willing to do that, fine, you know, so bless her heart. They did. So when they said to come in and take a look at it, I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I was like, what? I want to throw up. I just, I was afraid in a lot of ways that I would feel some sort of way that I, I, you know, she'd gone through so much to try to get this and the man cut it and the blah, 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 you know, and that I would feel like I needed to accept it, whether it was perfect or not, which I was telling myself, no, don't do that because the whole point of this is to, to look like my mother. So I was going in with the idea that it wasn't going to be right. It was going to be beautiful. I knew it was going to be absolutely stunning, but it wasn't quite right. And I was 
bracing myself to feel that way and to just be okay with feeling that way because the whole point is to make it right. So anyway, I felt no pressure from this jeweler at all from this jewelry store. I none. They were so incredibly kind. They just said, let's take a look, you know, let's see what you think and be honest. And if it's not it, we'll keep working on it. We'll make it right. I'm like, okay, great. So I go in there all nervous, ready to throw up. <laughs> And she's so sweet. She brings out the ring and I took one look at it and I almost started to cry. I mean, it was everything I could do not to just start bawling because it looked like my mom. I mean, it just totally reminded me so much of my mom and her ring. And it was just the color, the size. I don't know what it was. It was perfect. And the way they did it, it's beautiful. It's the perfect setting. It is absolutely, it's, it's everything. So yes, I, um, I did purchase it and I am so happy with it. And every time I look at it, it just, it's like, it's my mom's ring. I don't know why it just really gets to me. You know, it's just, it's the right one. And it's so funny because I'm driving home, uh, with the ring and a, uh, one of my mom's very favorite songs came on the radio as I was driving and I have not heard that song come on any radio station anywhere not even in like in a grocery store for years so that was very very special to me so I felt like she approved so that was really neat so also I may as well talk to you about being in North Carolina um oldest daughter Callie and I flew to North Carolina last week week ago two week and a half ago and we were there uh Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and we came back on Tuesday came back here so we got to go visit Claire and see Gracie and see the area and be at her apartment. And so, yeah, it was great. We were all over the place. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. I love that area. Um, great shopping. We went out to dinner several times. It was really fun. Love the lake area. Lake Norman is right there. Um, got to go see that and take Gracie everywhere at all the different dog parks and so forth that she loves. And the flowers were blooming and the trees were blooming and they have leaves on their trees and stuff. So it was just kind of a perfect little getaway. I need to go in now and let's see what's going on with my armpits. Just got out of my appointment and just to quickly try to explain um, what we figured out, or at least we think, we are assuming that maybe that reaction does not have to do with the B12. Even though my husband had a similar reaction to his B12, I don't even know. Anyway, what we're going to try to do is I'm not getting my shot this month, but I'm gonna get my B12 shot again next month, and then we're gonna wait a month, so every other month. And in the meantime, we're gonna be checking my levels to make sure they're in the right place and seeing how the rash thing, the armpit thing goes. So that's the plan. So it's just sort of a let's wait and see what happens kind of a deal. So that's what we're doing there. How fun is that? Um, but yeah, so I'm finished with that, which is good. Headed home now, I think, finally. And yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So anyway, this was, you know, not exactly riveting and wonderful and fun, was it? But I'm so happy you came with me anyway. And I got to tell you and show you my ring and tell you about my little trip that we went on um, just recently and stuff like that. And the pumpkin, I had to tell you about that. It's all important stuff, guys. It's important. So anyway, thank you as always for being with me. Love you to pieces. <laughs> Bye.